Yo, it's your boy Joshua van Beek from the Western Cape. We stay in a small area called Peniel. So I grew up in a town called Okamo and I just would like to share my story with you. I grew up in church. My father is a pastor and I had a very good life, I would say. And I know I would ease to have and I know I would ease not to have. And so I was well respected in my town, wherever I go. I'm, you see, I'm people pleaser. And so I earn my respect from everyone and I don't like making any wish with anyone. As a, as a pastor's kid, there is a lot of demands on your life and lots of pressure. You have to please everyone because people look at you as someone that must love a perfect life. And well, that, that is not the case because that is putting too much pressure on a person to be perfect. But no one is perfect. Only the God that we serve is perfect. So, I picked my own part. I loved a double life. So, on Sundays and Fridays, I would go to church with, and people will see me as someone that maybe have the Lord. But for myself, I know I'm not close to the Lord because my parents wanted me to come to church. But when I'm not at church, I'm a total different person. The Bible says if you're not serving God, then you're serving the devil. There is no uh, gray area in between. So yeah, I just want to share more about my life so you, you, you know the status I have. So my reputation, everyone knew, knew me and I was in a dance school, uh, I was in a squat. So I had lots of friends, people around me. And when I came to parties and stuff, it's almost like the party only started when I got there. That is how people might still know me. So I love that life uh, outside of church. So my parents, I don't know if they knew, but they, they know, <laughs> believe me, because sometimes I would come drunk. So uh, I picked my own part, and, but you know the grace of God is, is enough for us. God was always looking over me, I know that. Yeah, and also the, 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 the benefits for a pastor's kid, you, the word is always around you. So the Bible says you must teach your children in the way that they should grow. And my father, which is a pastor in my family, they raised me as a respectful young man, which I am grateful for that. And I was loving my life and doing my things and just coming to church always. And then I heard the call of the Lord. And it was like someone calling me. You can't, if someone calls you on the phone, it's gonna get your attention and then you, your first response is to pick it up. And I was very nervous at first to come to the Lord. And there was one scripture that just uh, sweep me off my feet. It was where the Bible says that Christ died when we were yet sinners. So when I was a sinner, still sinning, Jesus died for you. So that's what got me to the Lord. That was my turning point, knowing that someone loves you so much. Knowing that someone loves you so much, that's, that's unbelievable that someone would die for you. Knowing that someone loves you so much and still give you a second chance, even if you, even if you didn't love that person. Now that's, that's unbelievable. The love of God is undescribable. You can't explain it. And that, that is one of my turning points to come to the Lord. And since that day, uh, the Lord, it was, it was like, it, it, it happened over a period of time. So every time when I came to church, it was like the Lord calling me. When the pastor preached the word, it was always like directed to me and calling me to 
to fix my relationship with God. And, and ever since I'm, I allowed Jesus Christ into my life, I haven't then regret that decision. Because the grace of God is enough for you, as I said. It doesn't matter what you do, His love will never change for you. So if you are at that point, if you, if you have heard the voice of God, or if you have heard the words of the Lord to the word of God, saying that you must give your life to God, it's the right decision to make. You won't be disappointed in making that decision. Because God will always take care of His children. His eyes will always be on you. You are the echo of your Father's eye. So the God that we serve, God is a real God for real people. So you, you, you don't have to pretend when you come to the Lord. The Lord will change you. You must just surrender your own life to Him. You must give up everything to the Lord. And He will change you. So if you still do the wrong stuff and you say, I'm not ready, you will never be ready. Just make up your mind. He says, I want to follow you. Repent and give your life and never look back. So that's what I did. I never look back. So when you, when you come to the Lord, you will have more confidence. You will have more boldness. And you will know there's so much more for you in store. You will only reach your full capacity when you have Jesus in your life. Not knowing Him, but having a personal relationship with Him.